Good morning, good morning, guys. This is Lisa from Happy to Hook Creations. You are on my YouTube channel. Y'all, <laughs> it is Tuesday, June 7th. Oh my goodness. It's going to be such a beautiful day. Oh my gosh, it's uh, 7.47. It's almost 8 o'clock in the morning. And it's really, I've got the light on too, but... Um, it's so nice outside, aside from the things flying around and make me not breathe. So if I sound a little funny, <clears throat> I've taken another singular, so hopefully that might help because I'm I'm getting a little bit of, um, it almost felt like vertigo, it was a little weird, but anyway, that's another story. <laughs> so yeah, hi to all my new subscribers, and I've had quite a few. We have hit that 7,000 mark, yay. I absolutely just cannot believe it. I'm like over the moon happy. Thank you all so much for joining my channel, subscribing and liking and sharing my videos. I really, really appreciate it. I am working on um, the giveaway video. So that will be uploaded tomorrow because I want it to start on that day for one week. Um, also, my Potiversary, totally forgot all about it. It was May 15th, five years on YouTube, guys. Isn't that nuts? It goes by so quick. It just, I don't know, it just seems weird. But um, anyway, I know what you're wanting. You guys are wanting to know how it did, how the the show went. And I'm, I'm going to tell you. That's what this video was for. Um, I had a few items that I made while I was kind of just sitting there in between. I just dropped something, but I'll pick it up in a minute. Um, that I did while I was sitting down waiting for customers to come. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So for those of you who don't know, well, you know, you might or you might not. I had a four day craft fair here in town that I, in the town that I live in. It's our, like our county fair. Um, I was supposed to be outside because I, you know, I've got a tent. I was getting everything ready when the guy called all the vendors and said, I need you to come and you know, there's some things that we need to go over. I showed up there with one other person. Only one other person showed up. So he said, you can pick any spot you want. And I was like, really? Um, can I pick inside the building? <laughs> would that be, I mean, I just think that would be a good thing, right? Because the setup, um, I can't say that I didn't like it, but if I had to choose between outside and in, and some people are just the opposite, but I would prefer doing an event inside of a building. It's just what I prefer. Um, so, and and I'll tell you the main reason. I have allergies, and I'll tell you, the between the hay and the pollen and everything else that was going on, I, I was so, I mean, I had a headache all four days. It was just ridiculous. Um, <clears throat> and, yeah, so I was so excited when he said that, and I go, if, yeah, if, if you let me pick, I want to be inside. He even let me position my, like, I wanted it right at the end because I had two um, two clothing racks set up and then my table. So it worked out perfect. If you are a member of the Facebook, of my Facebook page, you will have seen those pictures because I did post them there. And if you're not, how come? Hop on over there, one question. It's just one question that you have to answer and then boom, you're in. So please hop on over there. We have gotten quite a few um, members and I will be doing a giveaway on my Facebook page as well as a thank you because you know it's the YouTube every, any any way that you guys are supporting me is awesome to me I, I I don't know I just don't know how to thank you um, other than giving back so that's what I'm gonna do um, but anyway so I had that picked got my name written on everything got my um, my free pass for parking and all that stuff so I picked all that up on Wednesday and I came home and I told Abigail, guess what? We don't have to load up the tent and um, the weights and everything else. And she was really excited about that. So all I had to do was, my, you know, my clothing racks, my bin of items, all my signage, um, you know, bags of yarn with, with projects in it to do while I'm waiting, you know, things like that. Um, snacks. I know they have food there and I did eat. I ate one day at the fair. Saturday was my day to just kind of eat whatever I want. Um, I paid for it later because that's just so much 
deep frying and and stuff but it tasted really good i mean i think i i had probably one of the best burgers at a fair that i've ever had it was amazing so um and i was really upset that they ran out of the they had jalapeno cheese corn dogs and i went to get one the very day i said yeah man i'm gonna get me one sold out <laughs> sold out go figure anyway <laughs> anyway anyway all right, so it was great. It really, really was. I met some awesome people, um, vendors that were there. Uh, we had a judge who had a table right next to mine and um, we knew some of the same people. So we had a nice little chat. It was so, so great. Um, yeah, so the event was Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday and Let's see, the longest night we had was Saturday. We closed at nine and Friday we closed at nine. So same time there. Sunday we closed up at six o'clock and Thursday the first day, um, 8.30. Yeah, we closed at 8.30, I believe. So it was some long days. Um, and Monday, I would have been more than happy to do a video yesterday. Y'all, I was exhausted. <laughs> so not only did I have that going on, but we also, like our um, end of the month, our monthly paperwork is due at the end of the month, beginning of the, the, the month, right? So it's usually like the second business day. So I had that going on and I couldn't do anything. So I had to finish everything up to, and I'm like, my boss, thank goodness, she's, she is just wonderful. Cause I was like, um, how about the, how about if I turn it in in the morning? She's like, yeah, yeah, that's fine. So, so my brain was just on overload. I got home, I took a nice bath, and I went right to sleep, and I slept and slept and slept. Um, I would definitely do it again. Even and I, you know, I mentioned to the director, I said, if you could put me in the same spot next year, that would be great because it had an entrance on both ends. All right. And it was, it looked like a big, huge, um, barn. That's like the shape that was, it was very nice. Uh, Thursday, I, I made back what I put into the show to, to enter and then some. So, you know, the, the rest of the three days, everything was, was profit for me. I had probably, I think I made 30, they were all duplicates, but I made a bunch. I think I had about 30, about uh, 30 or 31 lovies. And those were hands down my best selling item for the lovies. So yeah, I was very happy about that. And I came home, so I think I had 32. If I'm, if I, I had this all written down, right? It's in my work bag. Who does that? I do apparently. <laughs> so I do know I had 30, 30 to 32. Um, I have, how many do I have? One, two, I brought them in here. I have six left. So there's, they're all on the table right here. Um, I have those left. I sold out of my popsicle holders, the little freezer pop holders. Sold out of those. I even had um, a lady request uh, shark and dinosaur. So I'll be doing those for her this week and having them ready for her this weekend. It was no big hurry. So I had that. And I do take custom orders depending on what it is. That just takes minutes to do. It's not a big deal. Um, a larger item, I have to kind of really think about it, especially if it's something that they're needing within like a week or so. Because with working a full-time job and you know having to fill those custom orders, it could get a little bit stressful. So I try not to put myself in that situation um, unless I know I'm going to have the time to do it. So the popsicle holders, dish cloths were a big hit. Um, I made 47 scrubbies, 47 or 48 scrubbies. I had three left. Uh, let's see. My, what else was there? I sold three baby dresses. Not as many as I was hoping, but... Three is not bad. I, I will take the three that I did sell. I didn't sell any shawls, but a lot of people were really interested and, you know, were looking at them. And that's when I explained to them, you know, if you don't see something that you like in the color, if you like that pattern, I can make it in, in pretty much any color you want, as long as I can find that, that, you know, particular one. So um, I gave a lot of cards away. And when I do that, 
I do have people call me back. They don't just, you know, forget about me or whatever, but they, I almost ran out of cards during this four thing. And I took 150, I took 150 cards. I think I brought back like maybe 10, 10 or 12 cards. So, you know, it was really nice. Um, and I do put a card in or hand a card to every customer that I have. That way they'll know, how, you know, they know how to find me if they have any questions or issues, hopefully not, but um, that way, you know, they can do it. My spa sets, so let me show you what I mean. It, this was, this is what I signed as a spa set. It was $10, this is a leak proof jar. It is three, <clears throat> excuse me, three inches in diameter. So when you open it up, you have a washcloth and then three, if I can get it out of there. <laughs> and then um, three scrubbies. So this was a good one too. And I just, yeah, I just popped it in there, rolled up. Well, I guess I need both my hands, guys. I rolled it up and then kind of just tucked it in there just like that. Ta-da! So that went over well. I do have some of these left. I made 24 of them and I brought eight back. So not too bad. And I'm going to put the rest, list the rest of them on my Etsy shop. Uh, let's see, what else? Man, I'm, I, I was busy. Um, oh yeah, the loofahs, hold on. If you guys remember, I was making a bunch of these little, little guys right here, bath poop, patterned by Creative Grandma. So I made a bunch, well, I, can't, I say a bunch, but I think it was 10. It was 10 of them. Yeah, I made 12, but my son took one and Abby took the other. So I took 10 of them to the show. This is all I have left. <laughs> so I was happy. I was happy about that too. Um, and everybody would pick it up and they'd go, what is this? What is it? And I go, you know, it's a bath loofah for, what? oh, do those really work? And I'm like, well, I haven't tried mine yet, but I, I would hope so. I'm like, how about you buy one and you tell like you buy one and you tell me what you think. So yeah, that's what I would tell them. I go, eh, I don't know, I don't use them, but if you buy it, you can tell me if you like it or not. It's made out of 100 percent cotton. So there we go. I will make more of these for the next show. What else? Okay, so loveys, spa sets, dishcloths, scrubbies, popsicle holders, loofahs. Oh, the bottle, my bottle holders. I can't even show you one because I sold out of them. I only had five and then I made one. So six total. I made one out of um, rainbow cotton yarn that I had taken with me in the bag. Um, both of the Japanese knot bags sold both of those. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, Lovey's, man, such a big hit, guys. Oh my goodness gracious such a big hit and I'm so grateful for you know seeing some of these because sometimes you'll see the stuffed animals and you're like I don't know I don't think so yeah so um in my last video I think I showed you guys a frog it was either in the video or on Instagram I, I know I took a picture of it and posted it on social media he was one of the first to go just did, did my heart so well because I looked at it and Jack says that's an ugly frog and I go it's not ugly I go and you know what I'm gonna rescue it they had two I bought them both so <laughs> I was only able to make a lovey for the one I have the other one here somewhere in in this mass of mess that you see here but um yeah some girl little girl came in and she says oh my gosh mom look at this frog and I took you know I always demonstrate that the blanket comes off and um, she just loved everything about that little guy. And the mom, you know, she was like, yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> so there, Jack. <laughs> so I was really excited. It was a very profitable show. Um, and, you know, I will be returning next year. And he's actually putting together a arts and crafts one day only event. He's, you know, going to look and kind of feel how many uh, vendors are going to want to participate. I told him, yeah, I said, I'll absolutely come back. Not a problem. So we'll see when he does that, because as you guys know, I have a lot of stuff lined up. Um, it, the traffic was very heavy at times. Saturday was by far my busiest day. Um, that's when I sold most of my loveys, 
sold out of the popsicle, you know, the last ones that were there, that was all gone. So Saturday was a big deal. And it's because, you know, you started on a Thursday and you don't really think you're going to be that busy. But starting in the middle of the week, even though the kids are out of school, mom and dad still have to work. So finally, um, you know, Saturday, Friday night when people get off work, it was busy. But Saturday was definitely busier because no one, well, not I can't say no one. A lot of people <laughs> have weekends off. So they came to the fair and I was very grateful for that. And I, you know, looking around, I think everyone did pretty well. So, um, yeah, I was happy with it. Um, if you've got a craft show coming up, especially if you're outside or, well, I can't say especially, but it's nice to have like the popsicle holders, the face scrubbies, the, um, the kitchen scrubbies. I mean, every I can't tell you how many people pick them up. Oh my gosh, are these those scrubbies? Are these the scrubbies for your for you know your pots and pans in your kitchen? And I'm like, yep, they sure are. <laughs> so yeah, and I I sold one to one person. Everyone else bought at least two. Um, and so thank goodness for Hobby Lobby and their thirty percent off sale, which I think is going on right now. So I'm gonna have to go back and get. Um, some more of that nylon yarn. Hobby Lobby just like, ugh. I was there the other day and the lady was like, yeah, come back on Monday because, you know, I think they're going to start marking down our yarn. Well, they didn't. That's all I have to say about that. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. So I have a few, I have a few um, uh, lovies that I made yesterday when I was, you know, during my downtime because, you know, it was so awesome. So, um, I did sell, <laughs> I sold some, some minions when I came home Thursday night, no one had asked for it, but when I came home because I had sold, you know, four or five on Thursday night, I was like, Hmm, I better get some, I better get some more made up. And then I thought, let's put a minion out there because I didn't have one. So I don't know which one Kevin and Stuart are the ones I know. And you know, I have two, or Jack bought me two sets. So this is the one I did last night. I hope it, um, I just love this retro yarn. You guys, I'm always gonna have this yarn in my stash, okay? Uh, always. <laughs> and it's it's getting kind of depleted. I don't, well, see, you only have one section, but the other side, one, two, three, four, there's like six spots that are, that are open and everything that was behind there that was retro striped, I've used it all already. So <laughs> I got to keep an eye on it for it to go on sale again, because every single time I use this, it doesn't matter what it is, it makes such a different pattern and it just looks so cool. And I thought, eh, he'd look cute. So there he is. And I think this is Kevin. I don't know, but I put out, I put him out and his, I didn't even get to take a picture. His um, blanket or his lovey was bright yellow, like the yellow that I had purchased that I, you can't see now because I have bins all over the place. But uh, yeah, some little girl saw it and she said minion and dad said wallet and he got it off. <laughs> that was it. And it was great. So here's what I did with my, I had so many, they were just taken up the, and I put every single one of them out. So I designate a side of the table for the lovey. So the picture that's on Facebook doesn't show what I did. I got one of every dip, you know, one of a lovey and I put them right in the front, like in front of the, the loofahs. I put them in front of the bottle holders. I have two tea stands that I had the, the Japanese knot purses on the bags and then the, um, the water bottle holders or just bottle holders. I had those in the front as well. And I was just putting them like sitting them on top and of everything right in front. So the minute they walk by, they're going to see every time they look at that table, whatever they saw, they saw a different lovey. Um, and I, I really know, I know that that's what helped because most of the ones that I put up front sold. And then I would get more from the back and put the, you know, the, I had a bin that was sitting on its side and it was stuffed with loveys. Then I had loveys on top and then I had loveys in front and then around the table. And so, um, yeah, the minions so well. And I kept mentioning to them, the movie's coming out. And I think it's this month, the 17th. Oh, it's my anniversary, actually. But I think it's sometime this month. But yeah, so <laughs> now I've got another one. I'll be listing every the ones that I show you because these are all new. 
um, I'll have to list them on my shop so that they'll be there. So that's that one. I don't, like I said, it's just a minion. I don't know what it was. <laughs> and then we've got, we've got Peppa Pig. And everyone knew who she was. And I had two of her. And I didn't have, like I said, I still didn't have time to list anything. But now I will be doing that probably today or tomorrow before the sun sets. So I know I have good lighting. So this is a Peppa Pig. Boy, this guy, she's really soft. <laughs> Um, I sold, well, I sold so many, but I sold out of my stitch. I had two of those and I had a set of twins that came by and the mom bought four lovies and the two that she bought were the stitch for the girls. So, <laughs> and this is my little lamb and I just love him. I think it turned out so cute <laughs> and it's sparkly. It's that party yarn by, by Caron or yeah. Care on, yeah. There you go. So you can see some of the sparkle, and even the white is sparkly as well. So yeah, and it's just this cute little lamb. She's all, she's all dolled out, and she'll be listed as well. And the rest you, you've seen, I didn't, sell, I did not sell my panda, but my Cody bears, they loved them. And that Cody bear, if anybody has used that or has made a lovey, those bears are so soft. It is so amazing. Um, and then I have uh, Olaf and my rattle. <laughs> I was so glad that I bought three of these. So I only have one left. Um, I tried to see if they had any more. They do not. Eh, they might They might pop up again. When they do, that was a really good seller because there were so many babies. So many babies. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. Um, okay, so I did make a... A purchase and um, I don't know about anyone else but on the last day the very last day like hours before you close I get up and I do another walk of vendors to see what they have I tell them who I am I you know if they don't know already after four days we all knew each other and I did a swap with someone and then I did, you know, I purchased a few things because we need to support each other. And so I had vendors coming over. They bought some items from me. Um, and then, you know, we would do an even swap, something for something, same price, what have you. I think it's so much fun. It is, I like to do it. You may not want to do that, but I love to do it. And then there was a vendor that, um, and I don't have her card. She was an alpaca. Now you guys know I don't like fuzzy. Mm -mm, mm -mm, don't like it but she had leftover yarn that a family member had given her and she gave me a really good price on here so I bought some yarn all right so let me show you what's in here first so this is my this this is my craft show purchase um okay so I don't know where you can find this yarn I, I didn't look it up, so for that, I'm sorry. But this says Classic Elite Yarns, and it's linen. It's soft linen, okay? It, uh, hold on, let's see. So it's made with 30% baby alpaca, wool, and linen. And this has 137 yards. So I bought two of those. And then she had this really pretty, this, this one, mm, I don't know. I might give this one to Jessica because it's just, ooh, it might be too fuzzy for me. Cause see, I'm already wanting to pull the strands off. It's driving me, but it's so, you know, I can't pass up a good deal, right? So this one, oh, these are the same. So this is also linen. So I bought two of, I don't even know what color. Let's see. Do they have colorways? Nope, just numbers. So I'm not even going to give you the numbers. I have no idea. where She said her, her aunt, I believe she said, has probably had them for years. But you see how it's really not that fuzzy? And it's lit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to, I'm going to lose it. Let me put it right there. So they're linen, wool, and baby alpaca. And I just really liked that color. I thought that color was really pretty. And then... So the pink is a little bit fuzzier. That might go to Jessica. 
because you know and this one is definitely um i'll let the girls pick but i was really you know i was making loveys and i was tired of doing the same thing over and over so i went over there and i said okay what do you, what do you have over here you said you had yarn and, and she showed it to me and i bought this because it was just beautiful it's called rowan the colorway is frost it's a 50 gram ball and even though it's really fuzzy I want you to pay attention to the colors. That's what got me. I think the colors, can you see that? They're just beautiful. And I just know that that's going to make a beautiful um, cowl, which is what I want. I have, oh, I have three of them. Uh, it doesn't say how many yards is in here. Can't I can't imagine that much because this one ball, I have three left. I bought the four that she had. So this one ball made this hat. And when Amanda came to see me, I took a picture of her on the hat, or not on it, she was wearing it, of her with the hat on. I will put that in my Facebook page um, if for anyone who wants, you know, just in case you're interested. She was cute and adorable. But yeah, so it made a really cute hat. And I just did a front back post to it. And I just wanted something light because I knew it wasn't a lot of yarn. And I mean, I had maybe a strand that long that was left. That was it. So, yep, it made a hat. So there's that. And then there were two of these. It's called Debbie Bliss Baby Cash Merino. Cash Merino. So can you figure it out? Yeah, it's got cashmere and merino wool and i thought it was it let's see does it say what color slate slate gray she only had two and i bought them both um and let's see does it have a um 125 yards so that's not bad so i've got 250 yards to play with it's gonna make a couple of maybe some baby hats I don't know. Oh, wait. Does it have wool? No baby hats. I don't. I, I try not to use wool for anything for a baby. But I'll tell you what. Where did I put that yarn? Um, this was a really good deal, you guys. Um, the tags on this yarn. This one is $9.75. I didn't pay that for it. But, yeah. $9.75. She sold me this for 3 bucks. So... Yeah, so I had to have those. And if I make something that I think other than that hat, I'll definitely show you. See, I'm, I'm already, ooh, hold on. Let me get some of my, I gotta put this, I gotta get my mango. Oh, that smells good. I gotta get my mango on. <laughs> okay, so then, see all these purchases. Oh my gosh, you guys, I was, I'm just so excited. I had to get this for my, my munchkin. Um, she's, so her name is, oh my gosh, what's her name? Brandy. Her name is Brandy. And I will put her Facebook page in the description box below. So her name is Brandy. And she, her thing is, I think, Crafting Mama. Crafting Mama. Yeah. So she designs cups. And this is a glass with a lid. Oh, I don't know where the straw went. But there it is. And you guys know why I had to get this. If you've been with me from the beginning, you know why I had to get this cup. Because my my middle daughter, Amanda, has been called Panda Bear. That's been her nickname since the day she was born. So, yeah, we had to get the panda. <laughs> she is, and by she, I mean Brandy, the lady that does these. She is going to send me some designs because she sold out of her Jack Skellington. I was unhappy, but that's okay. <laughs> I got I got one that me and my girls um, really, really like. So I'm gonna have to fight this one. I'm gonna have to fight them off because not, I mean, everybody that I've talked to with the exception of a few people love Hocus Pocus. <laughs> so um, yeah, she made this cup and this has got the little song that she sings when she's luring the children. It's got, um, 
let's see the little bit. I don't know if you can see it with the, um, it says, it says Halloween and <clears throat> excuse me, it's got a bat and a bug the, or the, the, that's glued on top. <clears throat> Man, this, that stuff outside. There's the straw and there's the cup. Okay. So this cup, <laughs> this cup, it glows in the dark. <laughs> So when you first get it, you need to sit it in the sun, either sunlight or under a light for at least an hour to activate it. Um, it has to be hand washed. I'm only going to be drinking water out of it anyway. No, you know, sugary drinks or anything like that. This will just be my ice water cup. But isn't that adorable? And I am going to, I'm actually going to order a Jack Skellington and I will definitely show you guys once I get them because this is awesome. So this is, I believe she said a 30 ounce cup, 30 ounce or 20 ounce. Hmm, now I don't know. I mean, it's a big cup, but I like to drink water. So I know I'm gonna go through more than one of these. Just fill it up with ice and water and it goes in the dark. I can't wait to see it. I'm gonna try that tonight. I'm just gonna let you know right now. Um, <laughs> um, okay, so. Oh, and I did want to show you something else that I purchased. I know this was not at the show. This was the day before. So I'm out looking around because, oh yeah, it was the day before. I know it was Wednesday because <clears throat> that's when I also went to go meet the guy. I had gone to Hobby Lobby and she said, oh yeah, come back on Monday. Well, I went yesterday, lady. I did say, we'll just let it go, didn't I? All right, we'll let it go. But oh my gosh, I need that cell to hurry up and get here. I am just going crazy, people. Anyway, let me just share with you what I bought. <laughs> I can't just go into Hobby Lobby and not get anything, right? So I changed up the way I did my setup on my table. When I do the next, my next really big show is in August. That's the one at the Civic Center in Mount Zion. And I have two tables, one on the side and one in the front. So for... You guys will notice, I don't know if you looked good, at, like if you can see it, but I bought um, a set of baskets, okay? There are six storage bins in here. It was 50% off, so it cost me $10. It's just hard plastic. I have one on that I've used on my table already, and I wanted another set, but I was waiting for it to go on sale. I mean, 20 bucks, I guess, if you want to pay that much, but I know they go on sale, so I waited. And the first one I got for 40% off. And this one the other day, I got for 50. So I was really excited. Um, now what I did, this one right here, let me see. Let me, let me show you. All right, so these two smaller ones right here. One had candy that I always have, I always have candy on my table. Um, it draws people, it really does. People like candy, especially if it's chocolate. And then I put Sixlets and um, Smarties in there for the children. That way, you know, it's not something, it's not hard candy and it'll melt in their mouth basically. So this is for candy. And then this one, um, I set, uh, scrubbies. I put some scrubbies in there. You can fit quite a few if you like according in them. And this one right here, the longer one, this one, I had standing the popsicle holders. They were in there. This one had this and this one both held dishcloths because I'd made so many. So yeah, so this is, you know, it really comes in handy. Abby wants a set for her room and to put stuff in her bathroom. And I think it's a great idea if you've got the space. So I bought that. Let's see. Oh yes. And then there are my bins. <laughs> now, if you guys remember, I told you I went to Menards and these, this colorway is pistachio. I went and keep that in mind, just keep that in mind. So I went to Menards to see if they had any more. They had like two. So I bought those two. I bought a brown one and then I bought a blue one, which I'm giving to Abby. Cause I thought, Ooh, I can get them all this color and you know, get everything organized. Well, they didn't have any, uh, just those two. So then I thought, well, I'll just look online. They had them online. I was so excited. So Menards Online has these. You have to pay shipping, but even with the shipping, with what I'm about to show you, the shipping, 
the cost of these one dollar one dollar um i was really happy with that and they accommodated me because i ordered the last 12 pistachio that they had listed as available they didn't send me pistachio though yeah so this is not pistachio <laughs> Nope, nope, it isn't. But you know what? It's going to work. For a dollar, I'll deal with it, okay? Because I was going to go to the Dollar Tree. They do have them there. They're not as sturdy. These these are the good sturdy ones, you guys. Um, I mean, these things are like $5.98 or $6.98 a piece. And when they, I paid $1.98 for those. Had I known that they were online for a dollar and seven cents, I would have bought them online. But a dollar seven, they had the eleven percent rebate, and um, what else? There was something else going on. But yeah, I I ended up with thirteen. They sent me thirteen of this color. It wasn't what I wanted, but they sent me thirteen of this color, and I got these are the two that I bought at you know I, what what Abby said was mom just let me do it because I'll make I'll develop a pattern for you and I'm like oh boy so she's gonna I'm gonna just tell her what to put in them and she's gonna set everything up and we'll see what happens but not only that I only ordered 13 of the green ones then another box showed up I don't know if someone sent this to me or if this was them apologizing. There was no note. One said it's from Menards in Virginia. And I even noticed that the packaging on the outside, the label was different. But this looks great. Wait a minute. Is this gray or blue? I don't know. It look oh, it says gray. Duh. It says gray right there. So um, I have 10 of these. So I have plenty. So if you guys see when I'm when I'm done with this room and then whatever I have left over, it's gonna be a little hodgepodgey in here. Now my um, my station workstation um, shipping station. So on the left side I have um, business cards, thank you cards, envelopes, and then the little sleeves that you put the label in to stick on the envelope, right, or the package, whatever. And then. Um, I've got my ball winder, my scale, and then the second shelf, my um, all my bags and my tape. So since I have so many of these little bad boys, I can fit, I've already measured, I can fit two of these on each set. So I'll be able to put eight of them on here and I'll just mark them somewhere on here so I know what's in it or you know, maybe I'll just pull it out and look. But, but anyway, that's what I plan on doing. Um, and if someone sent these to me, thank you very much. And if Menard sent this to me as an apology for not having what I ordered and not telling me that I don't have it, thanks. Because I'm definitely going to use them. May not be the color I wanted, but these are really good and sturdy. And um, yeah, I like it. It's okay. I, I can definitely deal with it. And... <laughs> I ordered four blue ones. These are for Abby, though, to go in her room. So they had a bunch of colors. Now, I don't know if they're still on sale or not, but you guys need to check it out if you need them. Just get them and have them sent to your house. Um, okay, I think I've talked your ear off enough. I'm trying to remember if there's anything else at the show. The food was absolutely, I told you, I don't know if I mentioned that, but the food was just amazing. A jalapeno cheese corn dog, people. And I couldn't get one. Oh, that just makes me mad because they were sold out. Oh, the funnel cakes they had. Oh, just think of carnival food. They had it like people were walking around with a with a thing of fries. Like here's the plate and the fries literally this. <laughs> I mean, whoo, Abby got a bucket of fries. It comes in and it came in a little bucket with a handle, chock full of French fries and then smothered in cheddar cheese sauce. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good thing that thing only comes around once a year, man. Oh my word. 
and the smells were just, I mean, they were just, it was so amazing. So overall, the experience was a good one. And it definitely made up for being rained out in the last two uh, that I had for last month. So yeah, definitely made up. I was so happy to, um, it, it, my lovies, especially the lovies, because I feel, I feel like Rose, she says she really tries her best to match the color with, um, the stuffed animal. And I do, that's exactly what I do. You know, if I buy something, I just look around and I'm like, okay, what goes, I'm like holding it around all the yarn, what goes with what, what's going to be good. And, you know, try to match it up. And it, that really helps because they made, I had so many wonderful comments and so many great stories of people telling me how their grandmother used to crochet and they're no longer here, but I've got a blanket and I've had it since I was a little kid and it's holding up really well and you do beautiful work and you must be really patient. I, I mean, I heard it all. It's, I, I'm telling you, it is the greatest feeling to be appreciated for what you do. Um, it really, really is. It's such a good feeling. Um, and you guys know, you know, they're, and they look at me and the ones that are, that don't really grasp how long it actually takes to make something or whatever. They're like, man, you know, you must be like a crocheting machine or you crochet all the time. I'm like, I, I, I do. I crochet every day, but I have a full-time job. So some, there are some days I don't even get home till, you know, six, seven o'clock in the evening. I have my, you know, my dinner with my family and we sit down and put something on that's mindless. And then I pick up a hook and some yarn and go to town for a couple of hours until bedtime. But that's, you know, that's just how it's been. Now, when I retire, when Abigail graduates <laughs> in about three years, <laughs> we shall see if that changes. But um, it it's such a wonderful, uh, unwinding, de-stressful thing for me. Um, I just, I have to have it. This is why I keep one. I used to have a bag in Jack's car and he's like, why do you have a crochet bag, a project bag? He calls it project bag. I go, why do you have a project bag in my car? And I go, um, if we take your car and I don't have anything to do, hello? He goes, well, you could talk to me. And I told him, I can talk to you and I can crochet at the same time. I don't need to look at you to talk to you at all. So he took it out though, but it's okay. I snuck another one in the trunk. We'll see if he... We'll see if he figures it out. He's never in the trunk anyway. <laughs> I know I'm bad, right? Oh my goodness. Anyway, you guys, I have talked your ear off enough. I'm going to get off of here. I'm uh, going to go get me something to eat. See, it pays to get up early. I woke up early, even though I was exhausted because I had such a good night's sleep on Monday night from the four days. It is exhausting, guys, but it's so worth it when you make back the money and then some that, you know, that you put into the event and, you know, people appreciate you for what you do and you have nice customers. And, you know, somebody asked me a question about, uh, before I let you go, someone asked me a question about um, whether I mark down my items for someone if they look like they really want it. Absolutely not. I'm sorry. You, you can't go, and, and see, here's my mindset. You can't go to a carnival for one, it pay, you have to pay money to get in, you have to pay to get on the rides, and you gotta pay for food. So you're walking around with an eight or nine dollar corn dog or whatever, and you're trying to haggle your way down on my product, and that's just never gonna happen, okay? The price that I put on my items is the price that it's gonna stay because you're worth it, and so am I. I'm worth the money that I put on my product. So don't sell yourself short. Don't think, oh my gosh, maybe I'm, I'm, you know, charging too much. You're not. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that you're doing exactly what you need to do, but don't let anybody make it feel like, oh, well, I could go and buy that at whatever, whatever. Let them go buy it. What's one customer? <laughs> Just, you know, be, be proud of what you do. Okay. And get paid what you're worth. That's all I got to tell you. Just get paid what you were. And if you enjoy doing this, you want that satisfaction. You want that recognition. But you you also want to get what you're paid for. You know, you need to be paid what you're worth. So absolutely not. You know, if I tell you that, you know, my lovey's $20, if my lovey was $30, I wouldn't mark it down. 
you'll, you'll either pay $30 or you'll go find a lovey somewhere else, right? Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. I think I my prices are, are pretty well um, for the market. And they'll either stay that way or go up depending on gas. I mean, I have two hybrids now, but still. It's $5 here, you guys. I don't know where you live, but I bet gas is ridiculous. Holy moly. Things are getting crazy out there, y'all. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Anyway, thank you so much. Um, it is now almost time for me to head to work. I got to get out of here. <laughs> and my light just flickered. I don't know why it's flickering. I better not. It's not going to rain or anything. I better not lose power. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for listening. Um, I do have another form um, that I found, of course, after this fair, but I will be using it for the next one. So I'll show that to you in my next video because I have no idea where it's at. It's probably, yeah, I don't know, downstairs or something. I've kind of lost some items in the, in the, the transition. Um, I can tell you this. It was nice to go to the craft show with all of this product and come back with only two things full. I have my, my, um, my three foot Rubbermaid container. I just feel like it, my hair is coming down and it's like the fan is blowing it and it's, it's a creepy kind of feeling. I don't like it. <laughs> it feels like something's on me. I'm sorry. So anyway, um, anyway, I had the bin and then one little square with the loveys and a couple of bins of stuff that I, or little baskets that I put inside there. Everything else fit right in the container. All my, um, I did sell, I forgot about that. I'm sorry. I did sell some Bohemian vests as well. Um, I, I gotta make some more of those because they were asking for specific colors like purples. And I don't think I made any in a solid color because I, you know, I like a lot of colors, so they're all variegated. So that's another thing to just remember when you are selling your product, make sure you have enough of a different color or look so that, you know, everybody that passes by will, you know, be interested in it. You, I mean, did I say that right? So like, yeah. So instead of like mine, all my vests, they're all variegated color. And someone said, do you have one that's just purple? No, I don't. I said, because quite honestly, I don't, I didn't make any in solid colors. They all have something mixed in with them. So I'll have to make a few, but I think the variegated sell really well. So yeah. My next one will be in Retro Stripe. I cannot wait to see it. I just cannot wait. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed drinking. I don't have anything, no coffee or anything. Um, I Because I've been up kind of early today and I've already had a cup. I'm trying to taper off because my doctor said if I don't, I'm going to have to drink decaf all the time. Brr. So I have some decaf and some regular, but I like medium to dark roast coffee. And you guys know I like my flavor. Creamer, coffee, tea. If it's got some flavor to it, it's mine. I love it. So I'm trying to be a good girl. I might make one more coffee cup or more, one more cup. Just one more. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much. Um, this room might be different the next time you see it because now that all my bins are in, Let's see what I can do with this place, huh? Because I can barely get in it now, I can tell you that. I've got stuff everywhere. I mean everywhere. I've got a little bit of space left right here for my chair, but um, yeah, it's kind of taken over. I've got to fix that, especially before my Hobby Lobby sale. <laughs> you guys have a wonderful day. I think it's going to be a great one today. I woke up. That's a good start. Uh, happy happy hooking. I'll see you when I see you. Have a great day, guys. <laughs> Bye.